So I found out some news that is slightly stressful. Hey guys, so I am in the car. I am about to go and get my nails done because they are so grown out. <laughs> Good thing it's a neutral color, like a natural color, because it's not super noticeable. But I've been doing very neutral colors for a while, so I think it's time to do something that's kind of spring, I say, as I'm wearing, like, black. <laughs> I don't know, I brought some of my own powders, just in case I can't find something that I really like in the shop, but I don't know, I'll look and see what they have. John is gonna work in the nursery. He's like, go ahead and go. He knows if I stay that I'm probably gonna micromanage, which, I mean, he's probably not wrong. So, all right, let's go get our nails done and then we'll check back in later and see what John has done in the nursery. Okay guys, so I'm just back from the nail shop, probably like an hour ago, let's be real. And they didn't have the color that I wanted. I picked out a color, I started soaking my nails. She went to go get the color and came back and the jar was like empty almost. Um, so she brought me like a handful of other colors to choose from. I went with something way more pink than I had originally picked. I picked a really natural light pink, but you know what? It's springtime, this is cute, that's fine. I am about to make John dinner. I'm gonna do like steak, onion, bell pepper for him because he's currently doing keto. I'm actually starting to, so I have some leftovers I'm gonna eat. Not keto, but we're gonna work on that over the next few weeks. Uh, Valerie, you might wanna check your webcam and your brain, cause I'm pretty sure one of them's malfunctioning. So I'm in the nursery and this room is coming along. I can show you a little bit right there. So well, I'm super excited. If you hear lawn mower, I'm sorry. Like two of my neighbors decided today they were gonna mow their lawn. <sighs> and that window you might keep hearing pop needs to get fixed because it is driving me insane. I don't know what's wrong with it. I think the actual window inside the frame needs to be tightened somehow. So I found out some news that is slightly stressful. Um, I have to make, I was trying to see, you know, in America, most y'all know, maternity leave here is not good. Um, I've kind of lucked out where I'm in a job that is salary and I have some benefit, like very little benefit. I can get six weeks, six to eight weeks, depending on what kind of delivery, if it's natural or if it's cesarean, six to eight weeks of paid leave. And then I can have up to 12 weeks of not being at work um i was really hoping that they could do an extended leave um but they've pretty much told me that i either need to decide whether i want to stay and do a 12-week leave and come back when the baby is 12 weeks old or if i want to just go ahead and go which means my last paycheck would be in june like the end of june and it's not to say that we can't live off of my husband's pay it's just i wasn't planning on staying home for a whole year but i also didn't want to leave the baby at three months old so i don't know and this is a struggle that i know pretty much all moms go through is like am i staying home or am i going back to work am i gonna put an infant in daycare or with a babysitter am i oh baby kicked does it make me feel like a bad mom because i had to put a baby in daycare so early on in life and i'm totally i don't see anything wrong with any of the choices it's not that i think anything is wrong i just need to see what feels right for me and i don't fully know yet i just found out the news today so everything is still so fresh on my mind so john and i need to talk about it and figure out what our options are and i kind of want to go the next like month and like play with putting all my paycheck in savings and pretending like we're not getting that paycheck just to see what it would be like but i know for sure because we're we're really good at budgeting so i know if we budget things out that it'll be fine budgeting could also be hard since we've never had a kid before of like what to budget like i already know how much the healthcare is going to be everything else though 
But that's enough of my word vomit for now. I think I am going to work on editing the last vlog and then do some laundry. So I'll catch up later. Hey guys, it is now Easter. Oh my goodness. I was going to go to church, but man, I've been having really bad sciatic pain that started like three days ago. And I woke up this morning and I had like shooting pain on the side. And then on top of that, like since the mask mandate has dropped, I was a little bit worried about how crowded church was gonna be because it's more like a suggestion to wear masks there. Um, normally it's not a big deal because there's enough space to space out, but this is like Easter Sunday. So I'm like, oh, let me just play it safe because I'm pregnant. So I am at home. I got ready, ready to go nowhere. But look how cute this is. Mm, love it. This is a LuLaRoe dress and I got this kimono thing from Ross for like 10 bucks. So I just thought it was a really cute combination. Did my hair and makeups. I am making some chicken fajita. I am trying to still like really cook a lot of low carb options. And then if I wanna add in a little bit of carbs for the baby, I like trying to do stuff like brown rice, um, something a little bit more healthy, or I'll do like a piece of wheat toast. I'm working on this fajita chicken a little bit over here. But I went to the chiropractor for the first time yesterday and it was amazing. I got like a massage and they treated my back and my sciatic nerve and I don't know why I haven't gone sooner. I was gonna go for the hour long massage but they were booked up because it was a Saturday. So I think I'm gonna do that the next time I go but I still got a 10 minute massage and it was nice. Hopefully it'll go away soon. I'm hoping if I keep eating relatively healthy, it will get better. Some cauliflower rice. I flavored it up kind of Mexican. Low carb tortillas and cheese. 